Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a Traxxas uh, E-Revo 116 scale VXL. Um, so today we're having some, uh, I believe like diff issues on it. Um, so I can demonstrate for you guys real quick. Turn the radio on, turn it on. All right, so looks like the front is spinning not the rear so it could be um could be the diff could be maybe the grub screw came loose something not sure but go ahead and um try to take that apart in this video to see what's going on so what i would probably do first um i'll probably move this uh, guard down here hopefully I'll be able to see what's going on, on the bottom so make sure all the drive shafts are connected if not, then I'll probably go check out the rear diff. Maybe it's the cup or something's loose. So, all right, so let's see, guys. Go ahead, jump into the video. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I use a 2.5 a size bit using my MIPs. I'm going to take those screws out and hopefully it's a simple fix if not I have to go into the diff guys all right so let's see if I can Get that off. I might have to remove the screw here that's holding down the um the servo saver and maybe the front, the four up front by the uh, underneath the diff. Let's see. Hopefully not. Remove that screw. Give me a little more room. Let's see, guys. all right so got the cover off so you do want to remove the servo saver screw give you a little more leverage to get that out a little more room i'm gonna put the screw back in for now that way nothing falls out and i can already see the problem guys so it's not the rear diff per se it looked to be the i guess this um second part of the rear drive shaft seen already and then that outer drive cup is actually broken so it may not be the diff it could just be these two parts so i may have to go get some parts guys um i wonder if i have to get into the diff to get that extra part out i wonder if it just pop out of there Let's see, it might not. There might be a screw there. So I'm gonna take this cover off here and see if I get a better view. Right. This is what oops. Definitely want to keep these screws together. Alright, so basically is this rear diff cover. It's four screws. So I'll put this back here, find another screw, put them all together. Alright, so let's take another look and see if I can get a better view. So it looks like hey, it should be an easy fix. It's a little uh, hold on real quick guys. It's like a grub screw back there. All right. So I'll try to bring it closer. If you look, this part here is broken. And 
this part here, all right? So it looked like there's a little grub screw. See this screw, screw right here? And I should be able to fix that. So let me go ahead and uh, see if I find some parts and get that fixed up. All right, so I think I have an extra part here, a used part anyways, I should say. So I will be ordering just some extra parts because, um, again, this is not a new part I'm replacing with. This is another used part I have. So hopefully this will fix it temporarily. Now we'll order some new ones. And whenever this this part goes out, I'll just, you know, replace it. And it should, let's see. Should go in there. There you go. All right, it goes into that front part. So let me go ahead, take this old one out. So here's that um, pin, that screw. Slide this old one out, just like this. It's the old broken part. All right, these are the broken pieces right here, guys. Put that to the side. Um, I didn't see where the extra pieces went. Maybe I could see if I could get that out. Oh, here we go, here's one part of it. I'll try to get out those old parts. Don't want it to damage anything else. Seems like it's already, it already came out somehow. All right, now let me slide this new one back on. And I guess we should be back up and running, guys. All right, let's see here. I'm just trying to slide this back. Push it back. That way I can slide the um the pin in, guys. Here we go. All right. And I think, guys, that should fix our problem. Seems to be a pretty easy fix. All right, that is in. And then I'm just gonna put the covers and, and you know those parts back on. And um, I would test it. I could test it right now, but I'm pretty confident that it is fixed at this point. So let me go ahead and just button it back up. And I will double check the front one while I'm here. It looks like it might be a little bit loose, like it was coming out. Sure it was. Tighten that up. Boom. So definitely probably a good time to do some quick maintenance, just looking over all of the parts. Make sure those grub screws are tight and doesn't back out on me while I'm here. That took a, a half a turn. Let's see this one. Yep, this one took another half a turn back there. So now I'm confident that the rear would not come apart. Slide the, the drivetrain cover back on. All right. And then I will tighten down, put the servo saver screw back in, and then the eight screws holding down that cover. Oh, actually, I gotta put the um, oop, the rear uh, differential cover back on as well. This guy, hopefully it's not too late. Oh, all right, all right. So then. We actually put in 12 screws back on. All right, guys, let me go ahead and do that and I'll get back with you guys in a second.
All right, guys, so <clears throat> pretty much believe the diff issue is fixed. Go ahead and turn the radio on. Turn the Revo on. And let's have a look, guys. There we go. It's been working, guys. All right. So that'll be it for now. And as always, guys, just thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.